It had to be expected that the new power in Ukraine would be faced with an early test of its relations with Moscow and its come in Crimea. The storming of parliament by a small group of unidentified gunmen has removed the Kiev loyal administration and it's clear where their sympathies lie with the Ukrainian flag over the building replaced by a Russian one. Crimea is the only region in the country with a Russian majority. In Kiev there are tremendous events taking place. 2,000 armed bastards seized power and toppled the legitimate president and legitimate authorities. I'm not saying that previous power was good, but it's just that old thieves were replaced with new ones. Small groups of pro-Russian demonstrators continue to gather near the Simferopol parliament and Kiev's warned Russian military units that leaving their naval base in Sebastopol will be taken as an act of aggression. The 12 to 15 percent Muslim Tatar minority, pro-Kiev, is worried. The Crimean Tatar Council will not call our people to fight, but the situation could be used by radical extremists, including Crimean people, and that's what I'm afraid of. When the first blood is shed and the first person's killed, it will be hard to stop it. The situation in Crimea is increasingly dangerous. And the seizure of parliament from a political perspective looks like a kind of reaction to what's going on in Kiev and adds to the political confusion around the country. Sergio Cantone, Euronews, Simferopol.